sardine are any of the certain food fishes of the herring family Clupidae, especially the members of the genera Sardina, Sardinops, and Sardinella. Today, we will be exploring the anatomical features of a fish from the Sardinella species, otherwise known as Tamban. It is the second most abundant sardine occurring in the Philippines. In exploring the anatomical features of the sardine, start by identifying the external parts by examining the fish on its lateral, dorsal, and ventral sides. Locate the mouth, eyes, the operculum, the blackish macula, the dorsal fin, the pectoral fin, pelvic fin, anal fin, the anus, and the caudal fin. Open the mouth and expose the tongue and locate the striated tooth cap. The mouth is used to consume the food. Opening the mouth, we can see its tongue. The eyes are used for eyesight. They use their vision to escape predators and find food. Fish eyes can detect colors and see short distance. The operculum is the bony flap that protects the gills. It opens and closes to allow water to pass over the gills. The blackish macula is the pigmentation at the dorsum of the fish. The dorsal fin helps maintain balance while swimming. The pectoral fin allows for abrupt changes in side-to-side -side direction and speed. It also acts as a brake to decrease speed while swimming. The pelvic fin stabilizes the fish while swimming and allows for up and down movement in the water. The anal fin stabilizes the fish while swimming. As the caudal fin moves, propels or pushes the fish through the water. Now, let us proceed in exposing the internal organs of the fish by locating the anus and using a scissor, cut it upwards and to the left direction following the lateral side of the fish then downwards. To expose the gills, cut the mouth of the fish in between the mandible and the maxilla. After exposing all of the internal organs, identify its parts. Starting with the digestive system, the organ with the green pin is the stomach and the organ with the blue pin is the intestine. In this part, this is the intestine, the liver, and the pancreas. In the fish digestive organ, the stomach is responsible for digesting food. In many fish, the food is processed in finger-shaped pouches called pyloric seca, which secrete digestive enzymes and absorb nutrients. Other organs such as the liver is responsible for the basic metabolic functions including processing and storage of nutrients, the synthesis of enzymes and other cofactors, bile formation and excretion, and the metabolism of xenobiotic compounds. The pancreas also adds enzymes and various chemicals as the food moves through the digestive tract. The intestine also digests and absorbs feedstuffs and it is also critical for water and electrolyte balance, endocrine regulation of digestion, and metabolism and immunity. And this is the gallbladder. The liver produces bile which is stored in the gallbladder until a bolus passes the stomach, at which time the bile is expelled into the intestine. Bile contains waste product of liver activity which pass out of the fish in the feces. Lastly, the anus is where the waste exits. For the circulatory system, the organs identified are the heart and the spleen. The heart of a fish is a two-chambered heart. It has one auricle and one ventricle. Blood from all the parts of the body is sent to auricle. Auricle pumps the blood to ventricle, and ventricle pumps the blood to gills for the purpose of oxygenation. And the spleen can function as an important reservoir for red blood cells, which following splenic contraction may be released into the circulation to increase hematocrit during energy-demanding activities. The reproductive system, both male and female gonads are identified. The female gonads are on its immature stage 
since it is translucent to rose color, with fine ovary and invisible oocytes, while the male gonads are also on its immature stage, since the testicles are small, translucent, and very fine. Lastly, let us identify its gill parts. Here are the gill rakers attached to the gill arc, where the gill filaments are also attached on the other side. The gill arches are considered part of the skeleton. They hold the gills in place. The arches support one or two rows of gill filaments. The gill rakers are also an anatomical features of fish that aid in the gathering of food and protection of the gills. The rakers are located inside the oral cavity and point anteriorly from their attachment to the gill arch. Also attached to the gill arch are the gill filaments. The gill filaments are designed so that water flows in one direction alongside them. While inside the filaments, blood flows in the opposite direction. Overall, the gills are a respiratory organ that many aquatic organisms use to extract dissolved oxygen from water to excrete carbon dioxide. This is the swim bladder. The swim bladder contains gas, usually oxygen, and functions as a hydrostatic or ballast organ, enabling the fish to maintain its depth without floating upward or sinking. It also serves as a resonating chamber to produce or receive sound.